Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Thursday. And, man, I'm just going to tell you right now, I hope you have a blast. I hope you have a blast. He's going to Vegas, uh, taking the fiance first time, correct? First time. Now, I have done this myself with Stephanie, mm -hmm. remember? And we went in December. Cold. And it was cold. And we we have already talked, but the excitement of her being there was, let's just walk right, let's walk right there. That's just right there. That's what Stephanie did. Yeah. Yeah. That's just right there. Let's walk right there. <clears throat> That's four miles. No, it's right there. So... And we have already talked to yours. Yeah, and, and, don't and say her deal was, are we going to walk as much as New York? And I went, hell no. <laughs> they have tram, the tram, Uber, taxis, all that good stuff. Well, I think y'all are going to have a good time. We always go. We try to catch a show. Y'all are catching some shows. So it's going to be I'm fun. I'm eager to see Chris Angel. I think he's going to be pretty I think it ought good. To, you I know, think. it's a Cirque du Soleil Chris Angel yeah. show, so... I'm pretty excited, and of course the concert will be, be yep. cool. And I did not know I knew some of their songs. Oh yeah, you know a lot of them. So you, you hear them on radio. They, I, they're the bomb. Yeah, I did not com. know. I right didn't, I knew some of those. I was I was listening to them this morning before you got here, and I was like, I know that song. I know that song. So that gets me into my quest, start of the question of the okay, day. Okay. Okay. We are old. Okay. Well, I'll go with that. We're old. And I can remember, I can remember, I was a sophomore in high school, junior in high school. I was in Mississippi for the summer playing basketball with my uncle, Uncle Charlie. You know Uncle Charlie. Mm -hmm. And Prince comes up. <clears throat> Ooh. And he goes, man, I like this. I like, I like Prince. I like Prince. And I'm going, man, this dude's like 40-something years old knowing Prince. This, that's a cool dude. I am falling out of the times. Oh, yes, you are. You are not. I am not. I am falling out of the times, and I don't know how it happened. And I would have never thought it would happen. I'm with you. you you've you always been the music buff. Loved it. The movie buff. And you are slacking with I, your old ass. I am slacking with my old ass. You are absolutely right. And I don't know where it happened. But it happened about three years ago when you went, I ain't going. Well, I ain't coming. Yeah. I ain't going nowhere. And the world passed you by, my friend. Passed me by. I, like I, a speeding L train. It ain't stopping. It ain't stopping. You are absolutely right. I don't know what music's hot, you know. Besides for the YouTube or whatever, uh, Bruno Mars and that kind of yeah, stuff. You yeah, you know, I, I'm I'm listening to that. I have it on in the gym out there, but I have lost <coughs> touch with the younger generation. Now I will say this, and and she'll back me up. I've said this probably ten times because I'm getting old and I keep repeating myself. <laughs> <laughs> I know all the music. Right. I don't know many of the words. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> Have all my time. <laughs> That's all I know, and I and I can't figure out why, other than my mind is just on the bar and on Red Sea and on the wedding, and there's it's so many other places. That that's just background noise. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> it becomes that. We're right. Bruno Mars, 24 karat. It's a part in there. Sexy girls next to me making something to rocket rise or something. Right. She goes, I can't believe they say that in that song. I went, what are you talking about? The <laughs> part makes the rocket rise. And I went. Only part I sing is. Got a little money in my pocket. <laughs> That's the only part I say. And I don't know the rest of it. But I know it. I, dude. I can hum along. I am with you. I am with you. So let you. me say, 21 Pilots, I will be the guy humming all y'all <laughs> stuff. So, if they do like in the Peter Griffin, when they were at Kiss concert, and he <laughs> leans down and puts the mic, <laughs> you're going to be screwed. There's a few songs <laughs> I'll be okay on, but most of them I'll be... <laughs> Where did it happen? Where did it happen? With the internet? With 
with everything that's so at my fingertips, I became that old guy of exactly what you said. I don't feel like doing it. I ain't going. I don't feel like I. I'm only going. I'm. Do, I'll see you tomorrow. Go on. Right. I becomes that guy, and I feel so. As I was listening to that today, talking, I was like, dude, I was that dude. I listened to music. Yeah. I mean, entertainment. I don't know. Been nice knowing you, buddy. <sighs> so happy. I got. So, uh, she reads Nicholas Sparks books. Right. She read one when we went to New York. It, it, I damn, it's that thick. And she's got about that much left. She went, we run the Barnes and Nobles. I'm going to get another book to read on the planes. Right, right. Let's, yeah, let's go. Right. I'm going to get me a book. I've seen the picture. And I have, I used to read before this thing called Cell phone. Oh, yeah. I used to read. And I don't read no more. I, I'm with you. <clears throat> so I tried to find me a gangster book. A gangster right. mafia fiction. Not I, not I wanted some right, stuff right. that's made up. And I've read three John Grisham books already back in the day. And I found one that I, I liked the synopsis of. So the I got cover. it. He liked the and cover. then I got me another one. But I'll sit there and watch TV, and she'll sit there and read. I'm like, you're stupid. You got all this entertainment <laughs> up here. Hey, let me just say this. This is how my woman buys Mystic River, the book. Okay. Kevin Bacon. Next. Kevin Bacon. Starts reading it. First, she gets L.A. Confidential, and I said, you got to watch the movie. Couldn't find it. Has Mystic Griffin. Orders two of them off Amazon. Starts reading it. Halfway through. Comes on. Oh, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. Oh, this movie is so good. I don't hear nothing about the book no more. Yeah. You know well, what? we're going through it. And I, I'm on Google trying to find me some books. And she goes through and she goes, these sound like gangster titles. And she pulls one out and pulls another one out and went, Savages. That sounds good. I went, Savages. Saw that movie. I went, I pulled it out and had the girl on the front. I said, that was a movie. She's like, what? <laughs> so Oliver Stone. That and I go all the time. Hey, have you seen the new trailer to the Clint Eastwood movie? Mm-mm. I think that in lies the deal of that I'm up to date on. But uh, movies, yeah. But you know what You I know mean? what's coming out in 2036. Yeah, that I'm up to date on. But I think that's not like reading and stuff and, and people that... We get fixed on what we like now. I'm fixed on what I... Movies, and trailers and stuff that we're working on, I'm up to date on it. And I try to keep a... What's a... What's, what, what has a one-track mind? I don't have much going on else. A I, horse with them blinders on, yeah, I guess. I think that's me now. <clears throat> Really but the comment was made, I, I talk better and I focus better when I read. Well, I don't, I don't, and really, I, I agree with I that. I don't doubt that because I think I used to read Penthouse. A I lot. did read Penthouse at my dad's some, house. So, so I know he wondered why it took me so long to go to the bathroom. So but there's some good reading in there. there is, something's there's wrong. A lot with of this, good reading in there's there. There's something wrong with this kid. It had them had editorials in the middle, you know. I didn't read those, but they had them in there. You know what I just noticed? What did you just notice? I noticed why you're so much darker than me today. And just one second. Because your light ain't on? No, it's on. Well, I'm always darker than you. I know. but And I have is... got no sun. I hadn't tanned or nothing. And You are I'm part just... Indian. Somebody's somebody has some Indian, Indian in you. <laughs> and somebody. And I just looked, because I remember kicking that light last night in this sweet-ass studio as I was getting my underwear to take my shower, and I kicked the light, and I noticed that when I was doing it. So, hey, man, you're leaving for Vegas. Have a wonderful time. Guys, today we've got grilled, no, I'm sorry, char-grilled char poppy seed chicken breast with mashed potatoes and vegetables for eight bucks. And Barry came up with that, and I'm going to drive down there and help Gary with a little project real quick. Right. And then Barry is giving me $40 put on black. All right. Boom.
You want to give me some for second 12? I'm going to give you some for the second 12. I'm going to give you. You lost, by the way. Dang it. (laughs) No, I'll do it. You remember the time Gerald sent money? Yep. We're playing blackjack. We're walking out, and Gerald said, hey, put 100 on the blackjack table and do whatever. So we throw it down. It was me, you, Pitto. Yep. And we played like five stations. I put money on all five stations. His 100 was here. And they dealt me a 10 or an 11. Yeah, we were on blackjack. That's exactly right. Here's the problem with my buddy Gerald. If I don't double down, bitch, why did you double down? That's exactly right. If I do double down and lose, bitch, why'd you double down? That's exactly right. That is Gerald. So I was in a quandary. That's a big word. That is a big word. That do I put another hundred? Do I do I (laughs) do I put (laughs) another hundred? And it be mine. Right. Or do I make it his? Well, luckily, we hit everything at the table. It was like five or 600 bucks. Yep. And we hit like three in a row and then packed our stuff up and left. So he got his 200, but we, we won some other. But that's tough when you go. You can't. Well, it's tough with Gerald. It wouldn't be tough with me because you know oh, I'm going I'm to I'm, I'm handle it because I know. And it. trust me, there's some people I won't give money to to take because I know it's going to be, man, you lost. You lost. You didn't win. He would lose. And I would probably have put it on there and won, and he still would lose. But I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but I love coming back. Man, you hit. Yeah, that is fun. Have a great Thursday. Uh, remember we announced yesterday Kevin Fowler's coming, so is he on Stubwire yet? Can you Monday, start? He starts, Monday, Monday, Monday. Start getting your tickets Monday on Stubwire. Do not wait. Ooh, and the big announcement next week. I will announce it on Monday, correct? Yes. I will announce it on the show Monday. Another uh, first first time artist coming to the backyard. It's going to be pretty dang cool. Go down there and have lunch. Have a great weekend. Chris is going to be in Vegas. I'll send y'all a little clip for Monday. Send us a clip. That's awesome. All right, man. Until we didn't talk about really about nothing today, did we? Except getting old. Until tomorrow. Nope. Look, I'm already old. Don't forget. Until Monday, because the best of, I am Russ, this is Chris, and we are 